Hello dear students, this is Business Research Methods and Project Work Course Tutorial. This is Tutorial 2.4. The topic of this tutorial, Selection of Research Methods. And here, I will discuss particularly Longitudinal Studies and Panel Studies. Longitudinal Study, it is a type of study design. In longitudinal study design, the study population is visited a number of times at regular intervals, usually over a long period. These intervals are not fixed, so their length may vary from study to study. Although the data collected is from the same population, it may or may not be from the same respondents. It can be seen as a series of repetitive cross-sectional studies. It is a type of correlational research study. It helps to gather and analyze quantitative data and also qualitative data. It can take place over a period of weeks, months or even years. In some cases, it lasts several decades also. Longitudinal studies may again take various forms such as observational, experimental, etc. Now the question is when to use longitudinal study design? If the study required to determine the pattern of change in relation to time, that time a longitudinal study design may come handy. When the researcher wish to collect factual information on a continuous basis and require to establish the direction and magnitude of change, that time longitudinal study can be helpful. For example, if the researcher want to study the trends in the demand for labor or the trends of immigration or say fertility patterns of population in those cases longitudinal study design can be used longitudinal studies are typically used for collecting data relating to social economic educational and health related issues and they serve as an important tool for economists, sociologists, and other researchers. Now, there are different types of longitudinal study design. Some of those are cohort study and panel study. Now, what is a cohort study? This is a particular form of longitudinal study that samples a cohort. Now a cohort means a group of people who share a defining characteristics. Typically, those who experience a common event in a selected period such as birth or graduation. For example, the researcher is going to study employment pattern of a batch of accountant who graduated from a university in the year 2020. Now those people who graduated in 2020 in the same year, so that becomes the cohort for the study. Now another type of longitudinal study design is known as panel study. So this is a longitudinal study design where the unit of analysis is followed at specified intervals over a long period. It means the respondents remain same or the same respondents are contacted again and again for collecting data. So that is called panel study. Now see the merits of longitudinal study design. This study design allows the researcher to measure the pattern of change and obtain factual information 
recurring collection on a regular or continuing basis and thus it enhances the accuracy. Then there are some demerits of longitudinal study also. And one of the significant demerit is that it suffer from conditioning effect. If the same respondents are contacted frequently, the respondents begin to know what is expected of them and may respond to questions without thought or they may lose interest in the inquiry with the same result. And again another problem is panel attrition and this particularly happened in case of panel study. Now panel attrition means the respondents who are selected for the study so some of the respondents maybe say they expire and because of that they do not remain in the panel so or maybe say some new respondents included in the panel so that is called panel attrition. Now let's discuss about panel study in detail. Panel studies are a particular design of longitudinal study in which the unit of analysis is followed at specified intervals over a long period, often many years. So the unit of analysis that means the respondents. This study design is prospective in nature. So prospective means that the study is going to be conducted in future also. Once the panel is form once the panel is formed and after that the data may be collected over long period in future so that is called prospective in panel studies informations are collected from the same respondents panel studies can be used for both quantitative research and qualitative research. Panel may also be constructed from register data. Panel studies are suitable for analysis and understanding the interrelationship between life events, behaviors, preferences and later outcomes that affect people's life chances and well-being. Now, a demerit of panel study, which I have already discussed, that is panel attrition. So, some respondents from the panel, they may leave the panel and some new respondents may be included, may have to be included in the panel. So, this is called panel attrition. Now, in conclusion, a longitudinal study is a research design that involves repeated observation of the same variables over a short or long period of time. Panel study, this is also a particular type of longitudinal study, but the difference is that the unit of analysis is followed at specified intervals over a long period. That is, the same respondents are contacted again and again for collecting data. So this is about longitudinal study and panel study. So these are the sources from where I have collected the information. So with this discussion, I am con uh, concluding this tutorial. Thank you.